Hello, thanks for joining me. Today I'm back in the kitchen making catfish and shrimp hush puppies. Let's get started. Okay, here I have some catfish, some fresh catfish, and some fresh shrimp. I've chopped them up, as you can see, like really well. Not to mush, but just chopped up well. I'm going to add these into the bowl. Okay, here I have some egg that I've beaten. Add that in. I have a little bit of sugar. Come on out of there. Oops. A pinch of salt. I have some onions that I've chopped. And you can use as much or as little as you like. Mm -hmm. I have some adobo and as you know with you know it's easy to over season shrimp or fish so be careful and a little more that was about a, a teaspoon or so Let's see, I may add a little more at the end, but once you put it in, you can't get it out. I think I'm good with that. I'm going to add some paprika. Mm -hmm. Little shake here, little shake there. Could I add some pepper? Oops, I don't know. Some pepper. Yep, yep. I have my uh, oil heating up. Excuse me. We're reaching over here. I have some parsley. We'll just shake it in there like that. Yeah, if I had not used chopped onions, I would have used chives. So it's up to you how you do that. Mm-hmm. And I have some sriracha salt. You can add some cayenne pepper or whatever you choose. Just a few shakes of that. It came out lightly. That's why it shook so hard. And I'm also going to add some buttermilk. Mm-hmm, some buttermilk. I'm going to add a little more buttermilk. I'm going to let you see what it looks like. A little more. And if you're making this, you have to use your guesstimation. As long as you're careful with the salt, you should be good. Let you see what that looks like. Now I'm going to add self-rising cornmeal. Let's put some of that in there. Mm -hmm. You can use whatever type of fish you like. You can use only fish. You can use only shrimp. Or you can do it like I'm doing. You want to add enough where it binds together. Mm 
Not quite. Messy Marvin. Messy. Excuse me. Here we go. Okay, that's getting better. A little bit more should do it. I just needed it to be a little bit tighter. Just want you to see the thickness of that. Okay. Okay, now that we have that tight enough, I'm going to roll this around into the cornmeal. Let it sit there for a minute. I'm going to do a few of these. sit there and absorb some of that cornmeal. And into my oil I've added a little bit of um, butter. Not butter ghee. Basically the same thing, but not butter because butter will burn. You don't want your oil to be burnt. No, you don't. I'm going to add these few in. A little bit, I'm going to add a little bit more. for the flavor. Mm -hmm. I put them on a spoon because I don't want to want to splash myself with the oil. Get you some more on there. Making a big mess, huh? Well, that's what cooking is sometimes. A mess.
one more can go in there where there they'll have space. Don't crowd them either. Put a few in there at a time. Take your time. Make sure you let them cook thoroughly. Probably about, uh, about 12 minutes, 13 minutes, or something like that. But you can tell by your eye. You want them to be nice and brown. So just let them go. Don't worry about it. Let them do their thing. How nice and brown those are. That's the way you want them to look. Let's just see what they look like close up. I'm gonna let them cool for a minute before I break them open and let you see what they look like. Meanwhile, I'm just going to use some tartar sauce. And that may be all you want. A little tartar sauce. But I'm going to add some cocktail sauce to that. Still pretty hot, but I just want you to see what's going on on the inside. Still pretty hot. Mm-hmm. Just the other side of the same one. Still hot. I don't know if you can see them smoking. It's a big one here. Better view of whatever everything that's in the in the inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You just take one and you dip it into the sauce. Like this. And you take a bite. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice and crunchy on the outside. Nice and moist on the inside like a hush puppy should be. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. And remember to pray. And then pray some more. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and tap that bell if you haven't. And if you have, thank you. Share with friends and family and comment. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. Bloop. I love you. You. I really do. Make you some of these. Boo. Later. Mm-hmm. Eat the rest of this one.